So this is going to be a uh, general uh, tarot reading for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, and as well rising uh, January 20th to January 26th, uh, 2020. And uh, in case, guys, you are interested in a uh, personal reading with me, <clears throat> uh, you can check out the description the description down below in this video and there you're gonna find a link to my website so for uh these weeklies i'm gonna try to do something different here and uh the spread is gonna be a string one which means no particular positions it's just seven cards one after another hope um hope you like it okay let me cut in front of the camera so <clears throat> i'm not questioned with uh, my methods of um, of shuffling. All right, so Aquarius, first card for you here, Two of Pentacles, now quite of a dynamic weight for what, for what it seems. Now, Two of Pentacles, it is related with a, a small changes happening into one's plan, here and there, everywhere you go. So you have to be, as the card displays here, capable to juggle with things around, and you have to be capable to fit certain, if you will, enterprises or aspects as well into the current plans that you are are anticipating of um, of manifesting throughout the week now those changes are not going to be necessarily bad changes as a matter of fact sometimes from the two of pentacles and the changes that are coming coming into the two of pentacles um, something big could manifest all right or big in a sense of that they a big breakthrough or a, a a big shift into the circumstances especially where one uh, it's kind of feeling um feeling oppressed or struggling into but the thing with the two of pentacles the biggest thing with the two of pentacles it is the you guys for throughout the week needs to be ready to let go of certain concepts that are quite outdated or certain relationships that are outdated you know or certain goals if you will that are outdated and to be playful as well so you can tackle and juggle with everything that is going to come around into your direction which is going to be a a lot now the second card that we have for you is going to be the seven of pentacles and uh, with the seven of pentacles here that card, that card gives us an, an idea that you have to be as well careful. What I mean it is that although there are to be a lot of changes coming around and a lot of things for you to play with, Seven of Pentacles points that some of those things are actually going to take from you more than they are actually going to give. So the way I see with those two cards, Aquarius, it is that everything that comes as an enterprise throughout this particular week for you either career wise or either relationship wise is going to have a certain uh, outcome in a sense of that it's going to be a beneficial outcome for you but unfortunately the resources you will have to spend in order to achieve any single outcome are going to be at the end of the day summarizingly more than you are actually going to get from all from all of the outcomes and therefore you have to be quite how can I say it, calculative in a sense of which enterprise you're going to go for and which enterprise you're going to skip. So finally, what we do have for the Seven of Pentacles as well, it is that this week, uh, it will be beneficial for you as soon as you feel kind of very uh, stifled, but all, by all the dynamic and by all of the activities you have to go into, then you can definitely have the luxury here to take a break, catch up your breath and analyze your next move, if you will. And uh, lastly, with the Seven of Pentacles, there are to be some decisive events that are lurking behind any every corner that you are to encounter around um, on your road moving forward with this uh, with this week uh, that being said it will be advisable here with that card not to presume certain outcomes i mean uh, at the very end of it at the e at the very end of the enterprise you know things may change and that is one another reason why you should be playful and adaptable for throughout the week now the next one it's um uh, King of Pentacles, and we do have a person here now, King of Pentacles, very self-absorbed person that is going to appear uh, into your life throughout this week. Uh, self-absorbed and very aware of his own capabilities. Now, King of Pentacles, a very generous type of person. 
emotionally wise and materially wise but um king of pentacles does not do charities that is another thing so whenever he wants to give you something he always he i'm saying he because it's a king but it could be as well a woman he always expect something reciprocal in return okay so example if that's someone that comes with the romantic intentions toward you and kind of shows you warmth he expects you to show warmth as well otherwise he's gonna dump you away if you kind of strain away from them uh, if he wants to make business with you well he expects your involvement to be just as big as his the thing here is that if you want to move on forward with the king of pentacles archetype of card you know you need to show interest you need to show devotion and you need to show as well dedication and do not take his efforts and uh, you know his incorporation into your enterprises for granted Okay, that's the last thing you want to do it is because like said he does not do charities although he can be very very generous and uh, lastly king of pentacles may suggest uh, as well that you have to whatever you're dealing with it will be quite advisable for you to bring your connections and friends into the matter as well now the next one uh is going to be the page of swords so we do have another person here now this one however it's very tricky to deal with it is because the page of uh, swords they are very good into presenting fictions as facts so you can so you can say that they are masters of lies okay but they do not they twist and bend the truth but they do not deviate from it what i mean is that the page of swords they twist and bend the truth the way that serves them well and for that reason they are how can i say they're more prone to uh withdraw or withhold excuse me was the word a certain information that could prove valuable for you or valuable for the project or valuable for the relationship now another thing with the page of uh with the page of swords it's as well that they could also appear as a very unexpected source of help it does depend what kind of a situation you are in so uh it will define how the page of swords is going to come around into your life but for the majority of you aquarius the page of swords is going to at least in my view here is going to give you the idea that you do need some cleaning of your social circle one way or another i mean that idea is going to come one way or another by tackling with the page of swords maybe he is going to aggravate you and this is going to um draw the straw here for you to just you know make a clean up into your social circles or it's just they're gonna share it with you and you're gonna find it as a good idea now another thing with the page of swords it is that they do love rangos Arangos means, or at least in my book and to the uh, translator, pointless arguments. Arguments in, uh, and fights that nobody wins from. Well, Page of Swords feeds on this. So when that page confronts you with a an argument or a scandal, uh, take it as a rango and don't just don't give them the satisfaction to uh, lead that verbal battle with them so the fifth card here is going to be the ten of pentacles and we are seeing your efforts from the first two cards now paying off probably around the end of the week now ten of pentacles it is the card pointing that uh somewhere along the uh, along the way throughout this week you're gonna feel very satisfied quite cozy and kind of like surrounded with abundance uh if i can classify it that way now the thing with the ten of pentacles it is that um one second guys just one second to um regain control back over my camera all right so uh ten of pentacles it's it, it is like you are gonna feel like you are out of dependency resourcefulness uh, a dependent a dependency of resources and the uh, independency of an, an emotional attachments as well in as well in generally you're gonna feel like you don't need anything or anybody in order to move on forward with your things Another thing with the with the Ten of Pentacles as well, it is that um, how can I say it? Mm. People will try to uh, will try to win your trust, one way or another. Especially those who have betrayed you back in the days. So with this card, we can or you Aquarius can expect that some remnants from your past as a 
for example, ex-boyfriend, ex-boss, ex-coworker, ex-friends, and so on and so forth, or, or ex-husband or a wife, ex-girlfriend, may come around and try to recuperate or reconcile with you to a certain extent. Now, I'm not saying that they will want you back as their romantic partner, you know, but they may try to mend and recuperate a, a relationship with you to a, a certain um, extent. And lastly, obviously, Ten of Pentacles, it's a very good card for monetary success, okay? So you can, if you do the things right here with the first two cards, you kind of like identify accurately and you perform well into the enterprises that they, this week is going to give you while uh, those beneficial enterprises for, from the majority of the rest. Uh, it looks like that you are going to increase as well uh, your uh, monetary uh, monetary gains. So that was the fifth, the fifth one. Now we move to the sixth card here, which is going to be the Six of Swords. Uh, Six of Swords is a very peculiar card coming as the sixth one. Now it does point that there are to be a certain aspect of the week or rather like certain um, ideas. Uh, you know, when you want to do something and you are uh, afraid of uh, doing it because you don't know what kind of a uh, circumstances uh, you're going to end up with. Well, that is what the Six of Swords is all about. Now, the card here points that somewhere around the week you're going to face yourself in front of an either important step that you have to take or an important decision that you have to make. And uh, the, the lack of clarity or an insight where, the, where that step or this decision is going to lead you to uh, may petrify you in the sense of that you may not take either the step or decision at the end of the day. Um, the thing with the Six of Swords it is that this fear sitting on the threshold is rather celluloid, right? And in reality, there is nothing for you to be afraid of. It is just uh, that card, that, when the, that card comes around, whenever you do is going to be better than uh, in action and whatever you do or whatever decision you take is going to contribute for improving your own uh, personal circumstances. And the last card that we do have, it is the Ten of Cups. So we are seeing you, that should be taken as the end of the week here. So we are seeing you at the end of the week, very satisfied emotionally emotionally of what you have achieved throughout the week especially with this king of pentacles we had beforehand here the third uh the third card all right um ten of cups it is the card pointing that a life increases value all right life become even more worthwhile to move on forward with either relationship life either a career life now it's not excluded as well the ten of cups may mean a, a pure love for you especially if you are seeking such with that king of pentacles that comes around into the third card but <clears throat> What I can say definitely for the Ten of Cups at the end of the day, it is, uh, or at the end of the week for you, it is that you are going to feel exactly that you are in the place, you are going to feel that you are in the place exactly where you're supposed to be. All of your problems are not present, you know, and from now on you can feel the emotional satisfaction and as well um, emotional feelness if you will, that everything is, is going exactly as it is supposed to go in uh, your favor. Uh, Ten of Cups, it's like a, a sanctuary, okay, where even if there are problems, problems and plights that may affect your relationship or may affect your career, uh, it seems that they are going to simply miss you. Uh, you are going to elude those problems and they, will not, not, they are not going to take any presence for your future. Uh, development. So, uh, as we can see, a fantastic finisher uh, of the week here with the Ten of Cups. And, oh, one more thing here, Ten of Cups. Uh, try to enjoy what you have, okay? Because the Ten of Cups is that card where may, it may come as a, a warning or, or as a, a guidance, uh, reminding us that at certain stage of our life we have to just stop and enjoy what we have already achieved instead of giving ourselves to the constant drive of wanting more and more and more and more. Right? Maybe 
this week at the end of it it is um, it is time for your Aquarius to just stop for a while listen around yourself look around yourself and understand actually how rich you can be and you are emotionally and materially as well with that ten of pentacles that we do had here into the fifth position so that being said guys uh, this was your weekly tarot reading hopefully you enjoyed it and you liked it hopefully um this way of reading the cards it is kind of something that's um you would prefer or you would like we're going to see how this is going to go forward um, if i'm going to stick with it or i'm going to go back to the uh, original spread readings and uh, hopefully we're going to see each other around now until then bye